Hey, what's up guys? It's S2G and welcome back to another episode of my Derby County career mode series. And as you can see right here, we're in third place with 42 points, just two points off the top of the league. And obviously Norwich City are in the top and they're really playing well in this series. And as you can see right here, my the shortlisted players are obviously Ryan Mason and Gabriel Agbon Lahore. And I've inquired for both of them and let's see what their club gloves are come back with and let's head into this game against Cardiff City actually I'm really scared facing Cardiff right now because they're obviously a decent side and also I uh, my form lately has been quite poor so I'm not sure if I can get a good result here obviously we are playing away from home but I'm, I'm sure I can get a draw at least but I'm not sure about the win and as you can see we do have the first chance of this game in the 27th minute as Jordan Ive uses his space to go past the defense line he shoots with his right foot but the keeper makes a decent save and a great chance for us though, but now they have a chance here in the 35th minute of this game as O'Keefe plays in the ball to Maynard, whose header, unfortunately for us, gets inside the goal and obviously Cardiff City are now leading one goal to nil. And obviously now they do have another chance in the second half here as Zapater who plays it to Noon here. It's Noon who shoots, but our keeper makes a good save, but then he shoots again from the resulting rebound and does score. So 54 minutes gone, it's now 2-0 Cardiff City. And as you can see, they weren't done here. They were still trying to get another goal and it's Maynard again. It's still Maynard and look at that for a finish from Maynard. 58 minutes gone. It's Cardiff City 3-3, three, th uh, three, Derby County nil. And that was what I was scared of. They, they are a really good side and we're really struggling against them now. And as you can see now, they weren't done yet. It's Doyle with the ball. He plays it to Maynard who shoots. But at least this time, Grant makes a decent save. And guys, that's the end of this game. A really, really disappointing result. Anyways, guys, my form in the transfer windows are always, always shit. But apart from that, guys, now I'm going to be offering 2 million and ward for Hegbon Lahore. The team, obviously, they obviously want 5 million. But there's no way I'm going to be playing 5 million for one player. They just want 4.2 for Ryan Mason. But I can't even, you know, pay that much. Because then I won't be able to sign Hegbon Lahore, who's definitely my priority signing. Because he's just a fantastic player. His pace, his strength, and all could be used in the series. Obviously, we are aiming... You know, for the Premier League to be in the Premier League and a player like I bought Lahore will help us. So we're just going to go for 2 million for Ryan Mason. I'm not sure if that will work because 2 million is very less. And they that's literally not even half of what they asked. So let's see what they come back with. But now we have a game against Charlton Athletic. And for this game, I am playing Mason Bennett. And obviously because of Bryson's injury, my midfield is completely gone for a toss. Like Estut, Estache and uh, Mascarella playing in central midfield roles. So it's really, I just don't know what's going on right now. So we couldn't create anything up till the 48th minute. And obviously they have the first chance of this game as they both fall to Ahierni Grant who shoots. But his shot goes wide. And that was their good, a good chance for them. And now it's time to make a few substitutions. I'm bringing on Russell. And I'm also playing Grealish in the middle midfield, you know, to get some creativity. And also playing Jordan Ibe on the left hand side. Also I'm, you know, bringing Russell. And into a RF kind of position and it's the same with Jordan Ivan. Let's see if that has any effect. As you can see, they do have a corner here, but nothing came from that. But now they have a chance here as the ball falls to Eagles. Now to Diara. It's back to Eagles who shoots, but his shot hits the post. 68 minutes gone. It's still nil-nil. Can we create a counter from here? But nothing from that too. And guys, that's the end of this game. We have drawn another game in this series. It's not going well. Unfortunately, guys, Newcastle have put in a bit of 3.1 million for Ryan Mason. There's no way we're going to be getting Mason now. And also, guys, as you can see right here, uh, Aston Villa have actually... They are interested in the player, but they just want more money. And I, will, I, I don't mind giving them 3.175 for Ward uh, and obviously to get uh, Agbon Lahore. I don't think it's that much. So let's see what they come back with now. And as you can see, Wales wanted me, but... I just rejected it. Now it's time to play in the FA Cup against MK Dons. And just to let you know, guys, if we do reach the finals, uh, and if you're facing a team that has already qualified for the Champions League, no matter if, even if we lose, we'll qualify for the Europa League. That same, the same thing has happened with MGH. So if that happens with us, it would be really awesome because playing in the Europa League could be very good for our club. You know, a lot of funds. We'll get a lot of funds for that and it, it will be really amazing to play in Europe just in the second season but as you can see guys in the 46th minute Inter was trying to make that dream a reality by scoring an absolute beauty uh, that was a solo goal he literally went past the whole team from the kickoff and uh, that, that was just amazing stuff from Inter 
and my opinion has completely changed about him. He's been really awesome for me. And as you can see, we did have a corner here as the ball falls to end and he hits his header, hits the bar. Great chance for him. 63 minutes gone. It's Derby County 1, MK Dons nil. But now we still have a chance here. It's Ince now. 77th minute of, minute of this game. It's Ince. 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 It's still Ince. And he hits the bar again. Wow, he's so unlucky. He's hit the bar twice. He could have got a hat-trick by now. 78 minutes gone. It's still 1-0. But now we have a chance here. It's Will Hughes. Will Hughes shoot. But his shot goes wide. A great chance for him, though. The number 19 couldn't, you know, get another goal. And as you can see now, he's trying to get a goal. Yeah, Will Hughes is in the perfect position. Yeah, it's Will Hughes. It's still Hughes. Hughes shoots and Hughes score a great goal from him. 87 minutes gone. It's 2-0 now. Derby County 2, MK Dons 0. And as you can see here, we're completely ripping them on the counter here. If the ball falls to Inns now, this is, like, this is just uh, easy stuff for him now. But Inns... To be unselfish and decides to play the ball to James Wilson, who slides in and scores. 90 minutes more, meaning the game is over. And Derby County 3, MK Dons nil. A great result. And we are going to the next round of the FA Cup. Amazing stuff, guys. We are now, you know, just one step closer to possibly playing in Europe. And I also asked some extra funds from the board, but they were only ready to give one fourth of it. I had, I had asked two million, and they were ready to give only around five hundred thousand. Uh, Euros and I'm gonna be you know obviously as you can see here the offer for uh, Agbon Lahore has been accepted so I've just offered him a contract and let's see what they come back with but we do need a central midfielder because of all the injuries so I'm gonna try and loan Amati because if I can get this guy on loan it would be absolutely amazing because this guy is really good and obviously uh, I wouldn't mind getting him on a loan I tried signing him in the summer transfer window actually I didn't try signing him I did get you know, I did have an idea to try and sign him. I did go for him ultimately. But anyways, as you can see, an offer for uh, Grant, I rejected it because I don't want to sell him. And also, the loan offer for Amati has been rejected. But at least there's some good news. The offer for Agbon Lahore has been accepted. What a signing this guy is going to be. I'm sure he's going to be really amazing in this league as well as in the BPL. That's if we get promoted. And as you can see, guys, a central midfielder I really want to sign is this guy, Antonio Otegi. Uh, if that's how you say it. Because this guy is just 16 years old. And his potentials are on 82, 83. He could be really awesome for us. And I'm sure with the current funds I have, I might be able to get him. And in the next episode, we have a derby against Nottingham Forest. As far as I remember, they are rivals. So it's going to be a really interesting game against them. And as you can see, the table right here, we're in third place with 43 points. A really good place. And apart from that, guys, that's the end of this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you guys have, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe for more content. And I will see you guys next time.